Okay, so I'm gonna be showing you how to get Android 2.1 and Multi Touch on your uh, Motorola Droid. Uh, uh, see, this is the Motorola Droid. See right up there, it's his Motorola. So one way to tell that this is 2.2.1. Uh, I have the um, wallpapers, the live wallpapers, and uh, so yeah, I have this special menu for all your apps uh, and everything. So here, let me just show you that this actually is multi-touch. Okay, so right now I have the page Techno Buffalo Loading. Uh, so here, I'll zoom in on the YouTube videos. I'll pinch in with multi-touch. Uh, when it loads, okay, there's, there's some YouTube videos. Let me pinch in and pinch out. So let me show you that this is actually the Jordan of the Milestone, which does have multi-touch, because it's not in the U.S. Uh, about phone. Uh, model number. Joy, then you can see firmware version 2.1, update 1. You can't see too well, but best quality I got, sorry. Okay, so what you need to do is you're going to have to have a, um, a rooted droid with super user. Um, if you don't know what super user is, uh, it gives, it's what allows um, certain apps to have permission on your phone. Uh, so, so say you have a rooted phone, you're using something that needs root access, this will uh, regulate and like you'll say that you approve that you actually have it or if you don't have it. So you're going to need that. Uh, and then, when you're, then you're gonna need to have a um, the update file on your SD card, and I'll include download link to that in the description. And then you are going to need to go download ROM Manager from the app um, Android Market. And when you open it, it's gonna say Flash Clockwork Mod Recovery. I already have it done, so I'm not gonna do it again. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to uh, install ROM from SD card. You scroll till you find it. Uh, let me find it. Pretty sure it's on the bottom. Yep. Uh Cyanog Cy Enogen Shoals over the air English blah blah blah. It's a zip file. You open it, you're gonna do backup, existing ROM and wipe data and cache, okay? And the reason and um if this messes up, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go mount your SD card. Uh, and then you're going to select the update file that it made, so yeah. Oh, okay, so right now it's going to be doing the ROM. It's going to be backing up your ROM. I'll come back when it starts flashing the ROM for the update. Okay, okay so now you're going to notice that it's flashing the ROM. It's going to have some steps. Uh, you should see a little box opening with a little Android guy next to it and the yellow bar at the bottom progressing. So um, you're going to see the steps that it's doing right here. Just don't touch it. App, um, so it finished the backup obviously and now it's flashing so don't touch it for now uh, I'll come back when it finished flashing no. okay so by now it, it should have um, finished flashing the ROM and now it's rebooted I'll come back once it's done rebooting uh, it should start up normally into your uh, Android operating system with the normal uh, boot screen and everything Okay, so now you're going to see, um, welcome to Droid, you know, tap on it. It might ask you to activate it. Uh, it's not going to do it for me. It's not doing it. Sometimes it might, I don't know, it varies. Don't know why. But one thing that you're going to notice is your notification bar up here, the corners are rounded instead of just the square. So I'm just going to skip over how to do it, use it. Uh, I'll skip the sign in right now. I'll skip over that. Uh, next. And now you're going to get the option to use Launcher or Home. If you want the 2.0 home screen, you're going to do Home. If you want the 2.1 home screen, you're going to do Launcher. And there you go. Uh, it looks like the standard Android one, like when you first got your phone. Uh, and you'll have live wallpapers. And most importantly, you will have your multi-touch. So here. I'm going to try to pinch in on this. Okay, it does not want to work. Uh, here. Here, let's do classic Google. So, as you can see, I'm able to pinch in and out on Google. So, this should work. If it doesn't, just leave a comment, and I will uh, show you how to do your restore, uh, your backup, and you should be set. Okay, uh, yep.
Thanks for watching.